So I've been a terrible dad the last couple weeks, but today I'm finally going to be a good dad and see how long my baby can live. I'm talking about in this video game, not in real life. I'm definitely not a dad yet. What is going on, TFG squad? My name is Brandon, and welcome back to Parenting Choices. I love this game so much. If you guys haven't seen the first two parts, go back and check those out. So here's my baby. Oh, geez, I already forget his name. What did I- Oh, Francisco! This is baby Francisco. He's now nine years old, and I'm gonna see if I can turn him into a 20-year-old today. I- I don't know how long this game goes, but we're about to find out. If you guys want to see more of this game on the channel, don't forget to hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Okay, so here we go. Baby Francisco is now nine. Your kid fell and hit their knee. Home emergency kit. Take to the hospital. Put a bag over their head. Okay, so instead of treating Francisco, we're just gonna kill him. I mean, that seems like the wrong choice. I feel like that button should just end the game right away. I'm gonna go with, um, uh, I mean, I feel like they bumped their knee. They don't have to go to the hospital. I'm gonna go with the home emergency kit. Francisco didn't really like that. Okay, so apparently if your child falls and bumps their knee... You have to take them to the hospital because they're about to die. Maybe put a bag over their head was the right choice. I don't know. Your kid lied to you about their grades. It's not okay to lie. Accept it and move on. Or spank baby Francisco. Um, I'm gonna say that it's not okay to lie. So guys, I'm gonna make the right choices for now because I want to see how long I can make baby Francisco live. But I'm gonna make some terrible choices later in this video because that's a lot more fun than making the right choices. Baby is thirsty. No, he's not really a baby anymore. He's nine years old. So we're gonna just say Francisco is thirsty. Give him some Gatorade. Give him some Capri Sun. Oh, man, I loved Capri Sun as a kid. It comes in like those little bags and then you poke the little straw in there. Am I... Am I getting distracted from the game? I loved Capri Sun. Or give them water. Um, well, I feel like Capri Sun and Gatorade have a lot of sugar. So you know what? Let's give them water. Sent your kid to summer camp. Science camp. Fat camp. Or boot camp. Okay, this is fantastic. So we're either sending Francisco to science camp where he can learn and nourish his brain. We could send him to fat camp. He doesn't look very fat to me, but you know what? Maybe my eyesight has been going because I'm an old man now. Or we could send him to boot camp. So, Francisco's nine years old, but we're gonna train him like an army warrior. Uh, let's, let's send him to science camp for now. Feel like that might be better for his brain. Francisco thinks that girls are mean. I should say, treat them with respect. I know, right? Or stay away from them. Um, <laughs> do I want to scare Francisco away from girls for the rest of his life? He's going to be a 57-year-old man and still think that girls have cooties. Maybe girls do have cooties. I, I don't know. Or I could say that you should treat them with respect like you should in real life. I'm going to go with that one. Francisco shows you their drawing. This has been a great start to this video, by the way. Ugly. It's beautiful. Cry. <laughs> so, so Francisco's artwork is so bad that I cried. Or is it that it's so beautiful that I cried? I'm gonna- I'm gonna pretend like it's so terrible that I cried. That's how horrible it was. I'm gonna say it was beautiful. I'm gonna build up Francisco's self-esteem. OMG! A spider! Step on it. Capture it and set it free. Scare your kid with it. So I'm gonna pick up, um, Eduardo the spider and just kind of flick it at Francisco. We've got Eduardo, we've got Francisco, I think I named someone Umberto in a video the other day, uh, let's go with, uh, capture it and set it free, I feel like that's the nice thing to do for the spider. Your favorite pastime with your kid, cook, play games, or sleep, you know, nothing really makes me feel good about my childhood than just falling asleep on the couch next to my mom and dad, like, could you imagine that, Brandon, Come in the room, let's watch TV! <laughs> Actually, my dad kind of did do that as a kid. <laughs> your kid burned your hair. Faint. Chase them around with a stick or say that it's okay. You know, <laughs> I love the chase them around with a stick. Hey, you burned my hair. Now get back here, kid. I, 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 I'm gonna grab this pen because it's the closest thing on my desk to a stick. Let's go with chase them around with a stick. Oh, Francisco did not like that, but it made him smarter, so... 
All you parents out there, if you want to make your child smarter, just chase them around the house with a stick. Apparently, they'll get smarter that way. I hate you, mom! Well, first off, I'm a dad, so, you know, you're already a little off there. I could say that I hate you, too, with three exclamation marks. I could say I love you, or I could just say, that's not nice. I'm gonna say I love you. You know what? I'm gonna kill them with kindness. So he's gonna say that he hates me. He's a nine-year-old kid. That's, I guess, normal. I'm gonna say I love you, and he liked that answer. Francisco is ten years old. Do I get another creepy stuffed animal? Oh, now I get a lunch box with a paw print on it. Okay. My friend hit me. Why don't you hit them back? That seems like fantastic parenting advice. Move to another school. That seems a little too much. Make peace with them. That sounds like the right answer. I like that though. Francisco comes home. My friend Eric just punched me in the face. Punch him back. And you know what? While you're at it, chase him with a stick. It'll make him smarter. Francisco has spent too much time on video games. You know what? I mean, anyone that plays video games for hours a day should really be punished. Oh, um... I guess I play video games for hours a day. Mom, don't chase me with a stick. It's career day at school. What's interesting? A chef? An astronaut? A thief. I'm gonna, I'm gonna teach my child to be a thief. That just seems horrible. I'm gonna go with an astronaut. I feel like that's gonna make him smarter. Francisco didn't finish their homework. Tell the teacher that the dog ate it. Offer to tutor or deep angry look. That's my best version of a deep, angry look. Um, I'm gonna tell the teacher that our dog ate it. I feel like, oh no, 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 no. That was a bad thing to do. Oh no, Francisco's tooth fell out. Call the tooth fairy, jam it back in, or throw it away. I <laughs> Believe it or not, when I was a child and my teeth fell out, my parents didn't try to shove it back in my mouth. I feel like it might get infected that way. Let's, uh, let's call up the Tooth Fairy and make Francisco 25 cents richer. Mommy, I peed while dreaming. Isn't Francisco, like, 10 years old? I mean, if he's not potty trained by now, I feel like we've got major problems. Handle it yourself? Yeah, that's actually what I would probably do in real- If you're a 10-year-old and you pee yourself, you can clean your- Go in the shower or something, I don't know. Hose them down. Okay, so they're laying in their bed. I'm gonna come in with the garden hose and just soak them or forgive them. I'm gonna, you know what? It's almost the end of his birthday. I'm gonna say handle it yourself. You know, suck it up, Francisco. If you pee your pants, you gotta clean it up yourself. What are you gonna be, 25 years old and calling your mom? Oh my goodness. Your kid is about to ride their bike. Put on a helmet and pads. Wrap them in toilet paper. Pray to the genie they don't get hurt. What? I'm gonna say wrap them in a helmet and pads. I feel like that seems like the thing that would make sense. And Francisco is 11 years old. Apparently when your kid turns 11, you start giving them guns. I mean, that seems a little bit dangerous, but you know what? Maybe it's not real. We've got a lot of money. Let's give Francisco something new. So we've already given him a really nice bed. Let's see. What's this over here? We could give him a carpet. Wait, what's this red dot? Oh, um, yeah, sure. Why not? We'll buy him a red dot carpet. What, new sp I didn't want to No, I don't want to put newspapers down on the ground and treat them like some sort of a cat. What app should the child download? The news, poker, or dating? Okay, so he's 11 years old and we're already going to sign him up for a dating app. That just sounds dangerous. Poker, I don't think an 11-year-old should be gambling, so I guess we're going to have him download the news? Oh, he didn't like that. Oh, my intelligence levels are very low. I'm actually getting kind of nervous. I can't fit in my shirt anymore, mom. Wrap them in a plastic bag, buy them a new shirt, throw the shirt away. So either Francisco's gonna be walking around in a plastic bag, or he's gonna be walking around naked, or I can buy him a new shirt. I, I think I'm gonna go with that one and he seemed to like it. Uh-oh, it's not helping my intelligence levels though. I can't mess up or else I'm gonna break Francisco. Your kid clogged the toilet. Clog it some more? Okay, this might be the most ridiculous answer in the history of this game and this game has had some ridiculous answers. So Francisco poops, clogs the toilet, and we can't flush it. And my answer is, you know what? I really ate a spicy burrito yesterday. I'm gonna poop in it and clog it some more. 
It's actually kind of disgusting. You know what? I'm just gonna go unclog it and move on. What will you two do today? Join the surface, cliff diving, or graffiti? Oh my goodness. Okay, all of these are terrible answers. I'm not gonna have Francisco join the circus as an 11-year-old. Cliff diving could kill him, and graffiti's gonna land him in juvenile delinquent jail. I, I don't know what it's called when kids go to jail. I luckily have never gone to jail as a kid. Okay, um, and my balance is very low. I don't want to kill Francisco here. I, I guess we're gonna join the circus. That seems like the best option. Oh, okay. That was kind of okay. Why is the sky blue? Because I said so. <laughs> what a great, an you know what I'm going with that one. Uh oh, I probably should. Oh no. Uh oh. Okay, I need to make it to Francisco's 12th birthday. Family vacation. Where will you go? Extreme volcano exploration. That actually sounds awesome, as long as the volcano is not about to erupt. Backyard camping to grandma's house. I'm going with the volcano. Oh, no, please don't kill Francisco. Okay, we're good. He's 12 years old. And now we got him a, a dinosaur. It kind of looks like a stegosaurus. You found facial hair on your kid. Celebrate. That seems like an odd thing to celebrate. Or pluck it off. I guess we're gonna celebrate. He liked that one. Whoa, Francisco just had his 16th birthday and he grew two feet. That's actually kind of impressive. Francisco's been 16 for two seconds. No, I broke him. Oh my goodness. I've had a child for 16 years and I just broke him. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Check out my vlog channel, TFG Vlogs. I have a new vlog every single week. You guys will love that channel. So go over there and subscribe and I will see all of you in the next video. Sorry for breaking you, Francisco.